Welcome to Happiness is Healthy. It's Stephanie here, your happiness enhancer. Yeah, and today I wanted to talk about the second day of my water fast. So yesterday and today, the only thing I had was distilled water. Lots and lots of distilled water. Yeah, because I want my body to make more stem cells. Because stem cells can go to any part of our body and repair it. And after 72 hours of water fasting, our bodies make a ton of stem cells. So I'm really looking forward to, um, I think, fasting for about 10 days or so. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to listen to my body. It's winter, and we do the Duncan Market, and it's kind of cold. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, yeah. We're, um... We're re I'm really looking forward to seeing how my body responds to this water fast. Um, yeah, so far I've had energy. I took a nap today, but that's kind of because I don't always sleep all night. Yeah, since I quit menopause, or since I have menopause, right, and um, for some reason I don't sleep as well as I used to. But I just take a nap. So I took a nap this afternoon, and then I felt way better. So, if I don't sleep in the night, I just sleep in the day. So that makes me feel way better. And this water fasting thing, I didn't have too much hunger today, a little bit. Um, it really helps that I was already ketogenic. I think that makes the transition from burning, um, you know, like butter and cocoa butter and coconut oil and avocados, all those heavy oils, then... To switch to ketogen, or I mean to switch to water fasting, my body's already burning fat, mostly, and then I just go on to burning more fat. Um, so uh, that makes it really easy to do water fasting since I went on a ketogenic diet. Um, way less um, transitional side effects. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what tomorrow brings, and I'd love to answer any questions. Um, if you have about water fasting, and I'll post what I've been learning. Um, and yeah, I think that fasting is the best way to heal our bodies, because our bodies know what's wrong with us. We just need to give them a chance to relax and heal, because digesting food takes a ton of amount of energy. You're like, I don't know, 50% of the food we eat is used, the energy is used, just digest in the food. So I think by giving my, um, my stomach and my colon and all my body parts that digest food a bit of a vacation and just give them a pile of water, since I'm like, what, worth like 70-something percent water? So I think we need water more than food. So yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to sharing my results with you. And today I weighed myself, and I, it was around 138. Uh, so that was two pounds difference from yesterday. And so anyways, I'll keep reporting what I'm feeling and how I'm doing. And I hope you're having a great day. And I love you. And give your body a vacation from food. Water fasting rocks, baby. You feel like way different and way more energized in a different kind of a way. Because your body's getting to do stuff that it's been wanting to do. It needs to housekeep inside, but it can't housekeep if we're filling it with food, food, food. It needs time for cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Just think if you only put food in your fridge and you never cleaned it. Oh my God. Well, think about your colon now. Oh my God, we need a colon cleaning. So we need a water fast so our colon can naturally flush. And all the other times I've water fasted, or done any kind of fasting. I've done enemas or salt water flushes. But this time, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to drink a bunch of water and just see how often do I poop. Uh, her, this new person I'm reading, Herbert M. Sheldon, or listening to on YouTube, he says it's you heal better when you don't do those. So I'm going to give it a try. I have did it an enema. I have did it doing enemas and salt water flushes. So this time... I'm just going to let nature take its course. Just drink water and see what happens. So, happy day. I love you. Love your body. Give your digestive tract a break and water fast. Bye. I dare you.